tax day is coming. Oh, no. But if you sign up for Robinhood Gold's IRA with a 3% match, you can get up to $195 for the 2023 tax year. Oh, yeah. Sign up at Robinhood.com slash boost by tax day to get the biggest contribution match on the market. Subscription fees apply. Investing involves risk. 3% match requires gold for one year from first match. Must keep IRA for five years. Robinhood Financial LLC, member SIPC. Hey, it's Kim Commando today, your daily podcast to keep you up to date with all things digital and beyond. And I'd love to have you be a part of our podcast. You can make an appointment to speak with me. Just head over to commando.com and on the top right, there's a button that says email Kim. Fill that out and that's it. All right. So in our newsletter, I decided that we should have more people involved and engaged because when they're involved and engaged, well, that means that their ISPs and their email providers say, hey, oh my gosh, this subscriber actually wants to get our newsletter. So I came up with this bright idea that we would give things away just about every weekend. So last weekend, we decided that we would give away an official Kim Commando Show fanny pack. You have those? Yes, we do. Uh, Valued at $24.95. All right. Wow. And I want one, by the way. How do I not have one? Come on. Do you have a valid credit card? (laughs) (laughs) There's no employee discount? All right. Instead of $24.95, (laughs) $23.95. Look at that. Wow. So so we put it out there to get this fanny pack and that you would have to reply to the email with the word fanny in order to enter to win the fanny pack. What could go wrong? Exactly. So, you know, we have like, so, you know, Friday comes along, we get like a whole bunch of, you know, thousands of people that reply with fanny. Bunch of fannies. And next day, fannies. Ton of them. Next day, fannies. But in the midst of all these fannies (laughs) is that we have people that are leaving comments. Instead of just writing fanny. Correct. Uh Mm Uh-huh. Like Sully wrote, hey, Kim, your fanny delivered a great booty today. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> but he got the word fanny in there, so he's officially entered. He did. And then uh, JoJo wrote to me, and I actually know who JoJo is. Okay. She's my friend Joe in Santa Barbara. And she writes, hey, come on, Kim. It's not a fanny pack anymore. It's a cross body bag <laughs> or it's a hip bag. So you just move it from the hip to yes. above the shoulder and it's a totally different thing. Yes, exactly. And so, you know, we're not being hip anymore because we're just calling it. That is an 80s fanny, term, the fanny pack. Fanny, fanny pack. That's what I call it. I'm not cool. <laughs> no, neither no. I. And so uh, this guy writes me and I put it in the newsletter. He said, you know, since you've been talking about the fanny pack, I lay in bed every morning dreaming about your fine fanny. Whoa. <laughs> so sweet. I know. Isn't it so nice? Is it? Uh, Julian wrote, I renamed the fanny pack as the fronty pack or a belly pack for those who don't mind emphasizing their bellies. <laughs> okay. Have you seen that fanny pack that's the belly? I we, bought like, one. Yeah, we got oh, it for uh, Mike James. Oh, for Mike Mike. James. Yeah. yeah. Those are horrifying. Because he loved his fanny pack. <laughs> he actually wore it. It was horrifying. Yes, as you use that He word. would go hiking to pick up ladies with a fanny pack on. Never got a lady. <laughs> Shocker. <laughs> Never got laid either, but no. that's okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. Carol wrote, uh, why do geese have feathers? To cover their fanny quack. <laughs> <laughs> Aww, adorable. Uh, All right. Is that your official joke writer? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that could be. Thanks, Carol. <laughs> Appreciate you. Your fanny pack's in the mail. <laughs> yes. So, you know, so if you do want to get your own fanny pack, is that you can go to our Etsy store. And uh, that's where we actually sell fanny packs. But I, you know, crossbody bags. I mean, I have a Lululemon crossbody bag. I do Not too. Not a fanny pack, but it's still a fanny pack. Okay. It's do you normally pack. wear it over your shoulder or on your hips? Over my shoulder. I go hips most of the time, Ooh. unless I'm well, in. We, we established you're not cool. We understand. No, I'm not we cool. know exactly where <laughs> yeah. to wear it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And then we got a lot of people who, well, didn't like this particular meme. That okay. I put in the newsletter. And the meme is of a golden retriever <laughs> looking down, taking its own selfie. And I know this is hard to visualize on a podcast, uh, but the caption is how all middle-aged men take selfies for their profile pic. <laughs> <laughs> so it's emphasizing the double chin. Correct. Right. It's oh, shot yes. from down low. It's just a bad it's angle. A bad it's angle. all humans, yes. not Oof. just men. No, mm. but men seem to do it because I think women know a little more intrinsically, you got to go high I with the camera. I was taught how he to did. take a selfie. 
By a woman, I bet. Yes. yes. And you're supposed to hold the camera, like, your arm's length from your yes. face. Yep. And then you push your chin out. Yep. <laughs> and then you smile. And that's how you take a selfie. Does <laughs> you that look, look good? That looks, looks great. great. Oh, that looks right. Great. Yeah. Okay. And then, but this guy did not put his name on uh, at all. But this is the quote that won the week. Indeed. Okay. Kim, always attacking men. Ooh. I know it's only a joke. Well, Fat ass. I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> he knew it was only a joke. Fat ass? ass? I know. <laughs> so Kim I mean, might be the least fat ass person that I know. At least on know. This, right this side of the room. <laughs> sure. Oh, my God. So we've been walking around the studios yesterday since Everybody's we got Everybody's calling this. you a fat ass? <laughs> I'm, call, I'm calling other people fat ass. Yeah. They're calling me a fat ass. It's <laughs> he like, created a term of endearment <laughs> he here did. at Commando he Studios. Did. I know. Allie was walking around, walking in front of me yesterday. I said, oh, come on, fat ass. <laughs> and then I was like, oh, no, HR is going to be really mad at me. <laughs> the go call HR a fat ass, so she's included. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> And on that happy note, welcome to Kim Commando Today. You know, this is great where we talk about all things digital and all the comments that you leave us. And joining us, as always, <laughs> we have our A-team. First up, our amazing content queen, Allie Seligman. Allie, what are you going to be sharing with us today? Online piracy is up. People stealing stuff online. We're going to talk about why and what to do instead because you shouldn't do that. Uh, and then also some of my favorite ways to get printed photos that actually look nice enough to display in your house. Oh, isn't that sweet? She's so, so nice. Always. Always so nice. Thank you, Fat It's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that's the last one for the day. It should no, be. it's not. <laughs> it is not. No, it's not. <laughs> Me? So, yes, what do you have? Usually you say my name. <laughs> well, you know and what, you know what it was? Okay, I, you know she what? I, I had this. I had this delay because <laughs> what went through my head. Yeah. Is that we got a glass door review yesterday. <laughs> okay. From a former employee. Oh, yes. And they're always great. Sure. They're always wonderful. And it, it just said something like, go away or beware. And that, uh, that you know, the pros are there are none. And the cons are that unless you worship the owner, that you should never be here. That was yesterday? Yeah, that was yesterday. And it's, you know, obviously it's somebody who lost a job and then they, they're they looking for a new job. In order to get a new job on Glassdoor, you have to leave reviews. So, oh, you know, it's okay. one of those things. So when you said fat ass. I've been here for five years and I just called her that. <laughs> and I'm sitting there. So what was going through my head is I can just see the next Glassdoor <laughs> review saying, you know. I'll never work for this fat ass again. <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> Well, I'm Andrew, okay, and uh, we are going to mourn the loss of another billion-dollar company. Womp womp. It's no, over. really? Yeah. I'm oh, sorry. Let's get the good. Kleenex ready. <laughs> All right. A couple of things that you need to do for us. Number one, the best way, the greatest way for us to grow this podcast is for you to tell at least one person. And number two, we want to hear from you. I mean, things that you want to know more about, you can always drop us a note over at commando.com. Just hit that link that says email Kim. All right. We always like to get started with the news. And all over TikTok, there's this trending term called budget Ozempic. Budget Ozempic. So like cheap Ozempic? Yeah. Because, you mm -hmm. know, Ozempic, the diet, the wonder diet drug, uh, costs anywhere between $700 and $1,200 a month. Crazy. Whoa. And it's not really covered by insurance unless you can really, really say that I need it. Listen, insurance company, I'm a fat ass, so <laughs> I am going to need you to cover this. <laughs> and I can vouch for that. No. <laughs> uh, they have hashtags like gut talk. Okay. Uh, and basically influencers, people on TikTok. I hate right. that they call themselves influencers. These are just people posting on the internet. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay. They're, they're influencers. And they're saying that if you take like X-lax. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Miralax. Dolcalax. What's the lax? lax. <laughs> a lot of laxatives. Any lax <laughs> okay. will do. Is that you are going to lose weight. Well, you are going to lose weight. Oh my gosh. You're going to poop out your insides. Exactly. But you're only going to lose water weight. That's dangerous. You lose some weight. It's a start. You're not going to lose <laughs> any type of fat. Okay. So if you're tempted to, you know, take a laxative, I got to go. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Because no, I'm a fat ass. And this, is, <laughs> this is funny, but seriously, that's, that's a road to like an eating disorder to, oh, sure. that's very dangerous. Yes. If you're going to abuse people that. People with anorexia and bulimia do that. It's, it's a bad But aren't path. people getting sick off that Ozempic? Like getting real medical issues from taking oh, some it? Some people are. Yeah. Some people are. Probably people who don't need it in the first place, right? Well, Probably. I will tell you that Barry, Barry took Ozempic. 
Did he? Yes. My husband went on Ozempic. He went to the doctor and uh, he was, his, his blood sugar was a little high. And by the way, it, insurance did not cover it. Ugh. Okay. Okay. Uh, but he lost 30 pounds. Wow. Now, was the doctor like, hey, you could lose some weight. Here's an option. Or did Barry go in and say, give me this? Um, I'm not sure, but I think it may have been, this is so personal. Uh, it may have been that I looked at him and said, oh boy. Oh God. <laughs> excuse me, fat ass. I know you have a doctor's appointment this afternoon. <laughs> oh, well, Ask for this. <laughs> I did say that he was, you know, getting get, chunky, getting a little chunky monkey. And I didn't really find that attractive. Wow. That's so cruel. I know it's so mean. And so last night. I, we were just sitting there like in the home theater watching something and he was eating M&Ms oh, and Kim. I actually said to him, you know, this is how you got really fat last time. <gasps> Did he you sleep know on the couch? Be, you have to be honest. It's a good you thing I'm not to, married no, to Kim. You don't have to be honest, <laughs> but you also could be honest and delicate at the same time. Hey, remember you took Ozempic because you lo- gained all that weight. Andrew, and really have you met this it. woman? I have. <laughs> she's not, she's a lot of things, a lot of wonderful things. She's not delicate. No, no I'm no. sorry. That's no. so cruel. Good one, though. But, you know, and I, you know, it's funny that you say that because, you know, I said to Barry, maybe like a week or so ago, we were just talking. I said, you know, I said, you know, I think as I get older, I get more brazen mm. and I just say things. He's like, nope, you've always been like that. <laughs> nope. He said, he goes, I remember when he, he goes, and he told me the story. He reminded me. He said, he said, when I asked you out and I said, would you go out with me? And I looked at him and said, no, you're not my type. And he said, why? I said, because you're short, you're old, you're balding, you have a ponytail, and you drive a LeBaron. And you married him. Okay. And then she married him. Okay. Yeah, he knew what he was getting into from the beginning. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And he's right. got thick skin. He can, well, did he take it? Did he go to bed crying with his bag of M&Ms clutched <laughs> no, in his arms? he closed it right away. He just like, <laughs> boom, you're well, you right. Were, but you, you weren't wrong. No. Could have just handled it a bit differently. All right, I'll try it better. No, you won't. No, no. she won't. Okay. All right, what do you got for us, Andrew? So during the pandemic, uh, nobody was doing ride shares, right? Mm-hmm. We were all home. We're going anywhere. So Uber decided that they wanted to, instead of us taking you somewhere, we want to bring stuff to you. And they went out and sense. found a company called Drizzly that delivers alcohol. And we all... Did a bunch of drinking during the pandemic. Of course we have. So That's why everyone gained weight. <laughs> right. yes. Drizzly was doing really good. And they have valued, valued the company at $1.1 billion. So many dollars. And Uber bought it. Wow. Three years later, they're closing the door. In March 2024, Drizzly will shut down. They're not selling the brand. They're not going to keep it open for any users. They are completely closing it. Wow. Here's the reason why is that they don't want competition. They're their own competition. Uber Eats is growing with locations across the country. Uber Mm. Eats is now uh, can deliver alcohol in 35 different states. And so they just don't want people going on two apps. They say the user is asking us to have just, no, of course not. They want to eliminate their own competition, but they are closing down a company they bought for a billion dollars just three years ago. That's insane. Wow. I can't believe it. Now, do you think, you would know better than me, did they make their money back in three years? No, I suspect that this is a big tax advantage. Okay. This is a big tax write-off that you know they can claim all these losses based off of profits. I mean, I am not, by any means, a tax accountant. I can tell you that <laughs> right now. Okay, yeah, I just yell, that's deductible. No matter what it is, I just say, oh, that's deductible. <laughs> Allie, save us. Uh, yes, I will. Okay. okay, piracy is up. So people going to websites and stealing content, movies, TV, books, uh, whatever. You did it, it ever right? slow down? It did. There's There have been peaks and valleys, okay. but in the last four years, it's up 12%, which is a fair bit, right? Why? Do Do we have any guesses? Because people are tired of paying for streaming. Well, okay. everything's also so expensive yeah. that you have to choose, you know, do I want groceries this week or do I want to keep with this entertainment? And you go, I got a great idea. I'll have both. I'll buy groceries and then steal the entertainment. Hey, <laughs> uh, probably awesome. safer than stealing the groceries, but both are illegal. Uh, you shouldn't steal things. Yes, both of those are right. Plus, it's just hard to find certain things, right? Depending on where you live, it might not be available in your streaming services. Not everybody's savvy enough to know, oh, I could use a VPN and switch my location. Right. So sometimes people just steal. Anime is actually a big one for this because really? it's hard to find. Yeah, it's hard to find in a lot of places. And so people end up pirating. And you would think hey, the you biggest know, viewers of anime would be 20-somethings and they don't have any money. 
Okay, I don't understand the appeal of anime. I have watched a few anime series, and they were delightful. Really? Yeah, yeah. Have you watched them? Not a second. Yeah. I, th- I, I mean, not the like- non-porn ones, but otherwise, <laughs> like the regular anime, not a second. <laughs> okay, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> anime porn? Well, you've been on Twitter? Oh, Kim, <laughs> it's come on. It's all over. It goes by a different name. I really don't know the term for it. Uh, we, uh, we shouldn't say that here on the- no. Do you know it? Uh, I can't. No, Just I don't remember. Just text me it. Yeah. Or I'll take my search <laughs> results. One of the two. Um, but that, yeah, I've never sat down and watched anime, but it's huge. It is. Yeah, it's huge. And it started, we started watching it because there was one on Netflix that was based on, it was either like a game or something that my husband played. And everybody said, the animation is beautiful. This is a great series. And we watched it and we loved it. Did it have subtitles? This one was in English. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I don't watch anything that's in Japanese because I, I want to like focus on the art and stuff and trying to read at the same time is yeah, not you're enjoyable. You're not going to get to enjoy the visuals if you're sitting there reading the whole time. Exactly. So people are stealing things online. Uh, in some places, it is extra bad. This is crazy. In India, movie piracy grew 80% between <laughs> 2022 and 23. Um, again, anime, 25% of pirated content last year was anime. That's, what, that's so much money that I Mark know. is missing out on. Totally. So what can you do? Because like I said, this is illegal. You should not steal things, uh, any things, but this stuff too. So there are free streaming options. We have a ton of lists on commander.com of, yeah, you're going to pay, you're going to watch commercials, right? That's it. You have to do, I mean, you're going to have to pay for it somehow. Yes. And probably safer to watch the commercials uh, than, you know, get that notice in the mail that's like, uh, hey, we know that you've been pirating things and yeah. those happen. You know what? I, I got a question in my listener mail. And I thought that all these boxes were over, but you know those Cody boxes? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, some guy wrote me a note and he's like, I can buy this box for $200 that will give me every streaming service, every sports so event, no. all of this, all this is. And then, but then he goes, because it's for sale on Amazon, it must be legal, right? No. Of course. <laughs> like, Absolutely. No. No, no, stay away from those boxes. Yes. That is not, that's also illegal. That's like, remember when people used to steal cable? Yeah, that's basically what that is. Did you ever have a scrambler box? Uh, I did not, but I. Oh, oh somebody did. Oh, I yeah. know. I never had one. You never had a c- cable to scrambler? No. Bought it for 180 bucks from a guy named Steve that I worked at with a telemarketing place. Of course. You went home and you unplugged your cable from your TV, put it in the box, put it right in the TV. Every channel. I'm in no way surprised a guy named Steve at telemarketing company <laughs> sold you that. He had a mustache, too. <laughs> yeah, he did. He, Steve with a mustache, absolutely selling illegal <laughs> cable to Did he walk around going like, today we're going to make today huge. It's going to be huge today. <laughs> no, he was one of the callers. He was one of the telemarketers. Oh. He, but he would walk around and go, hey, you want to get some cable? You want HBO? <laughs> I got HBO. You want Showtime? I got Showtime. Okay, a couple more free trials do still exist for a lot of these things. There is a service called Crunchyroll. If you also want anime, they do a free trial there. Uh, your local library has a lot of media that you can check out. Sometimes they do streaming, depending on your library. It could also just be, you know, you rent the Blu-ray. Blu-rays are another option. We've written about this in The Current. It's crazy to me that, like, physical media is coming back because people are sick of paying for stuff and not owning, you know, what the titles that they bought, right? So go buy it. You know, you can get a Blu-ray pretty cheap at, you know, your local thrift store. What about the... Creators, though, if they look at this and see 25% of the market is being stolen, just lower the price. Yes. and Make it a buck. Yes. And I imagine this will start to come into play when, you know, they they realize how much people are stealing. Why make no money when we could make a little bit of money? Something's better than nothing. Yeah. You know, it just reminds me, you know, when John Mayer got started in Atlanta, Georgia, that was when it was like, you know, Napster was, was there. Yeah. And, it, and so like people would have concerts like, no, you're not allowed to record us. Well, John Merrick came out and said, you know, I want you to record me. I want you to share me all over. And I just, and they I mean, that was really how he got catapulted. Yeah. Like he went like against the grain. Napster was great. Yeah. Mm. I miss Napster. All right, coming up, I've got some tips on how to stay warm because baby, it's cold outside. Uh, what do you have, Andrew? Uh, dating app tips. I'm back on the dating apps and I got scammed. <gasps> no. 100% Whoa. got scammed. But it's not by who you think. Okay. You're going to be surprised. He scammed right. himself. And what do you have? Uh, how to make sure you don't have to pay money to return something that you don't like. Ooh. So annoying. I know. Hate that stuff. Yeah. All right. Stay right where you are. We have that and a lot more coming up.
This episode is brought to you by Kia's first three-row all-electric SUV, the Kia EV9. With available all-wheel drive and seating for up to seven adults. With zero to 60 speed that thrills you one minute. And available lounge seats that unwind you the next. Visit kia.com slash EV9 to learn more. Ask your Kia dealer for availability. No system, no matter how advanced, can compensate for all driver error and or driving conditions. Always drive safely. Okay, this is Kim Commando today. And on our YouTube channel, make sure that you subscribe. Go to youtube.com slash Kim Commando because this podcast is going crazy five days a week. It's going to be so much fun. Of course, you can get the video. You can also get the pod. And speaking of really wonderful things, right now, if you go to commando.com slash win, that's commando.com slash win, you could enter to win your choice of a $1,000 Mac or a $1,000 Windows PC. Yeah, this is big stuff. And once again, that's commando.com slash win. All right, so I was watching the news, and I don't know if I told you this, but in my bathroom, I have a small television. Yep. Okay. Uh, because this way, when I'm getting ready in the morning, I watch, like, the local news, and I make fun of the local news while I'm standing there. <laughs> All right. I'm going like, oh, my gosh, somebody needs to do your hair, girlfriend. I mean, come on. <laughs> or that dress is horrible. That dress is horrible. And which, you know, and I do know somebody who does their hair. So I will actually reach out and say, Nicole, make sure you like, you, this needs to change on this person. <laughs> um, but anyway, so I was watching the Today Show and Al Roker was out. Okay. Talking about how cold it was across the country. So I thought, hey, we could be on topic. Oh, yes. And talk about cool things Timely. that you can do. And like, for example, if you have a smart speaker, uh, you could set it up to give you weather alerts. Nice. Isn't that nice? How often? It's up to you. So you can just say, give me a weather alert every single day at 7 a.m. Yes. That's or cool. yeah, tell when me when it's ready. Yeah. Or tell me when it's lower than 32 degrees. Oh, even that. Oh, that's even better, too. But, you know, speaking of smart speakers, the best thing that I ever did was that you can actually program your smart speakers say things. And so like... You have the smart speakers back in your home? Yes, we do. Okay. Yes. They I were have, banished for a long time. I know. They were in the garage. Yeah. Well, that was because Barry's like, oh, I don't want anybody listening and recording to me everything <laughs> that I do. You know, one of those things. And so now whenever he... <laughs> whenever he says to Alexa, he'll say, Alexa, you know, what's the weather today? And Alexa will say, look outside. You live in a glass house. <laughs> what does the weather look like it is? It's, Did you program it to yes. say that? That's hilarious. Yeah, so that's really good. Uh, if you have your phone, uh, you can put your hands around your smartphone in your pocket. You can get a little bit of warmth that way. You also turn on the flashlight, and you can get your hands <laughs> warm. real that way. heat from the flashlight? Yeah, just a little bit. Just All a right. little bit. Uh, let's see. You can also, like... Work out indoors with your fitness apps. So there's no excuse, fat ass, to be sitting there <laughs> saying, it's too cold for me to go outside. I can't wait for all the reviews that were like, <laughs> I know. this show used to be family friendly. Is that going to be the keyword next month? <laughs> Comment fat ass. Ass. <laughs> I still can't believe that. So I know. I would, I would, you know, if, if you are the one who wrote me that, I would love to have a conversation with you. If you have the balls, you know. <laughs> oh, let's he doesn't have the balls. Set it up. You okay. don't think he was joking? No, not the way it was written. Not the way it was written. Oh, I totally thought he was no. like, "Hey, you're taking on all women. I'm going to fight back against men." Ha ha ha! No, no, oh, no. He wrote it with the way that the commas and the yeah. hyphens, everything were. You can tell like, the seriousness by the punctuation. Yeah, I mean, exactly. and you know, and I already have like a vision of this. It's of this guy, gentleman. It, no, he's not a gentleman. <laughs> He's not a gentleman. No. No. He's that a was guy. Very rude. He's a guy sitting there, you know, with a big old belly and drinking <laughs> beer and, you know, driving like a truck, an old truck that has like truck. has like beer cans and crap on the inside. And But in these reads the newsletter. Yeah. He has that's some true. redeeming he's qualities. He's tech savvy. Yeah. That's true. Well, I did say that as I was walking down the hall yesterday. I think I said it to you or somebody else. I said, hey, but you know, at least he opened the newsletter. Right. Okay. And yeah. responded. He's a fan of your fat ass. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I'm not going to eat for a month. <laughs> okay. I, okay. Let's just be honest. I wear a size four. Okay. She's a tiny yes, woman. You're not fat okay. or uh, assed at all. I know. No. <laughs> I mean, it's just not, it's not a big picture. Okay. But it's a funny line. It is. All right. What do you got? So um, back in the dating scene. Decided to download some apps. Which ones? Well, I went different. 
Oh. Normally I use Hinge. Okay. I think that's probably the best of all the dating apps. I think it's the most real people, people actually looking for relationships. Uh, so, But I decided to try uh, Plenty of Fish and OK Cupid. <laughs> oh my gosh, we were just going to get them as a sponsor. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Stink. Uh, but I went on OK Cupid. Okay. And so I decided, to, I never had an account before. It's the first time I downloaded the app. Uh, starting writing the profile, which is, you know, no one reads those things anyway, and they're so hard to talk about yourself. So mm. I'm just trying. So what do you put in the profile? Yeah, I just put, you know, what I do, and I have kids, and this I'm fun. Funny all adult lies. man. Yeah, all lies. That's what it said. Um, and then I won't dump you in a year. I put that in there. Again, all <laughs> lies. But uh, I what added the pictures, and then they have questions you can answer a lot. They have like 500 questions you can oh, answer God. to see if you match with people. So I'm going through that, and all of a sudden, I see that I have two men. I have two likes. <gasps> Automatically. Tw- tw- 20 minutes in. Okay. Wow. I'm like, that's cool. So I pop over. You got to pay to see him. So I don't, first of all, I don't understand why the algorithm doesn't work as simple as it should. If I like you, then they should present me to you to see if you like me. Correct. It should happen. Yes. W- organically. Yeah. But you have to pay. Of and course. they're not going to put me on your timeline because then you wouldn't get any money from me. Yeah. I get it. It's a business, whatever. But then those two likes went to four likes. And those four likes went to six. <gasps> And to eight. Wow. I got up to 13 likes. Wow. And I was finally like, all right, there's got to be one person in here that I, I can like back. Sure. So I hit the buy button, $44 a month. Whoa. Whoa. 44 bucks. But okay. I had 13 likes. Okay. But is that just like the entry level? And then do they keep trying to upsell oh, you yeah. along that's the way? That's all it is. Oh, is that's trying the to loser plan. Yeah. Yeah. Boost yourself. Get noticed. Aren't you supposed to I get me this. noticed? Period. <laughs> Why would I have to boost myself? So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to pay it. I paid the $44, which is the most expensive of all the dating apps that I've seen. Okay. And I've also heard that men have to pay more than women. That, that makes women sense. Women get a cheap because they want women on there. Right. It can't so just pay, all be dudes. Yeah. Pay the money. The whole Apple pay thing goes through. I go and I click on the likes. Kenya. Afghanistan. No. London. Too far. Belize. Too far. All of them. You got scammed by- International <gasps> people. They're bots. Yeah. They find new uh, accounts. They like them. They know that if you see a bunch of likes, you're going to pay. And then I'm not, I don't know if OkCupid okay is giving them a kickback. I don't know why, but there has got to be a reason that all of these bots are on there liking people because I wouldn't have paid the $44. Okay, I would so have was taken this, the time. So this was on okay Cupid. Okay. Stupid. Yes. But yes, it was on okay Cupid. So then I went online. I'm like, I can't be alone. Cause I felt like such a rube after I did this, which gets you, you can get your money back. I could, I absolutely could. And what oh, here's the other thing <laughs> is that I put on there, there's a setting for miles, the distance between you. I put 25 miles and I put it was a deal breaker. Oh, come on. Kenya is not within 25 <laughs> miles. <laughs> and if it's a deal, what does deal breaker mean? If it doesn't mean I wouldn't be interested if they weren't within the 25 miles. I hate you, Uncle Cupid. And so I went on and, and so Wait, you're many. Still, you know, you're still really mad at that. Oh, so it's $44. I just feel like I was duped. Yeah, you I were getting taken advantage of. I would of. love to pay $44 for a service that gives you exactly what they're telling you they're going to give you. Okay, so so let's let's do this. Okay. We have a lot of people who listen. Sure. Okay. Um, what would, Allie, what do you think is Andrew's best characteristic? I think Take funny is time. too obvious. I mean, obviously, Andrew's hilarious. He's a lovely person to talk to, great conversationalist. He's a great dad. Yeah. Oh, such a good dad. They're yes. all good things. Yes. All His things children, women in Kenya delightful. fell in love with immediately. <laughs> good looking. Yeah, handsome. Yes. Especially when you wear big boy pants and what? not a... Baseball. Saw your husband's fault, by the way. <laughs> uh, what are you trying to get to here, Kim? I'm thinking that, and you, you know, and you, you have. He has a. You own your own house. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and you own your own car. Yeah. Do you have gainfully money in the bank? Employed. Yeah. Okay. Yes, gainfully employed. Yeah. Multiple jobs. Multiple jobs. Four hundred one k plan. Yeah. Okay. Hard worker. Yes. Okay. I'm just thinking, like, if anybody knows anybody, like within, like, you know, twenty five miles, fifty miles of here. <laughs> On this continent? <laughs> yes. And, 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 if you live in the continental U.S., please contact yeah. us. Sorry, Hawaiians. You're out. <laughs> it's just too far. It's too that, far. You know, that, that we, you know, I don't, I don't want to play Cupid. Yeah. Okay. But. 
How much money do you want? Are you cheaper than forty-four dollars a <laughs> yes, month? I am. Okay. This is a free service because we care about you. <laughs> okay, okay, so uh, you know, so Mike James was here, and I had this bit going with Mike because mm -hmm. you know Mike was perennial single right I mean, like, he, he dated that one lady who made balloon animals for a long yeah. time and then that was well, it because they wanted to get married and she they wanted she wanted to marry him yeah and then then he said you know we can get married but i'm gonna live in my house and yeah. you're gonna live in your house this was a huge topic on the show it was he that's wanted to incredible. live in separate houses but still get married that's insane <laughs> and so i uh, so i Whoa. was making a joke about it on the air and i said it with straight face that you know what a lot of people don't realize about mike is that he is a real estate mogul. Okay. He's got multiple properties. He does. Multiple properties. And, you know, and he did. He had four different properties. And I said, and the reason why he's able to afford all these properties is not because of the money that he's making it's here. because he didn't file his taxes for seven years. <laughs> <laughs> there, was, there was that. That's a callback. But uh, that he doesn't like to say, but, you know, Mike James is his stage name, which is true. Mm -hmm. It was, was not his real name. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, Rockefeller <laughs> was part of his heritage. And so he was inundated. Really? With, yes, with all these women sending him pictures. Did he ever notes. meet any of them? Yeah, and they all turned out like, just like, I don't, believe it or not, just looking for the money. But yeah. that's oh, okay. shocker. Shocker. I just want my 44 bucks back. That's really all there is. I just want my, I feel that's so ridiculous. abused and used. I'm not usually a conspiracy theory kind of gal, but it does seem like yes. OK Cupid could stop this if they wanted to. Right, especially if there is a setting to say it's got to be within 25 miles. Y yeah, I'm um, not, I don't know anything about geography. I know Kenya is outside the 25 mile an hour range. It definitely is. Yeah, that stinks. You should try to get your money back. It's I wanna... about an 18 hour plane ride, just to let you know. <laughs> no, I've taken it. It's a bad one too. How are the women there? <laughs> oh, they're gorgeous. You're gonna love it. <laughs> All right, what do you got, Al? I do the same thing Kim does. This is this is definitely a woman thing. So when you're buying clothes, you never know what size you are in a brand. That's true. So sometimes, if you're unsure, you buy two sizes. Sometimes three, if you're really concerned and need the clothes for something. But two sizes, right? The okay, my skinny size and my my bigger size, mm -hmm. just as the the backup. It's getting harder to do because a lot of companies are starting to charge for returns. Yeah, I hate that. I hate it. Okay, was allowed. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. So they generally will call it something like a restocking fee. Sometimes they call it shipping fee, whatever. Most places, so J Crew, seven fifty. Um That's huge. Dillard's ten bucks. Yeah. Anthropology, six dollars. PetSmart even does it. Ulta, Urban Outfitters, Zara, but like so many places do this now. Okay. How do we not pay this fee? Because we don't want to pay ten dollars to return the thirty dollar sweater that right. we don't like. Yeah, so annoying. Okay. Check if there are locations near you. If this is a place that has retail stores, you can return it for free in the store. So yes, you have to get in your car and take yourself in that ugly sweater, but at least you don't pay the money. Uh, but check before you buy because I bought a dress. This was from J. Crew Factory, not regular J. Crew. It's mm -hmm. the overstock. You can't return stuff to regular J. Crew if it's from J. Crew Factory. Yeah. The only J. Crew Factory is in Chandler. I live in Phoenix. <laughs> Not bring it to I'm me. I'm going to make it work. I'll bring it back for you. I'll oh, live you know right what? it. That oh would be, gosh. you know what? That's a good idea. That's a good idea. Because you, you know what? <gasps> He'll see you returning this little black dress. Yes. Who is she? Did they break up? Yeah. Yes. And then you can stand she in there. My heart. Stand uh, there in line, just holding this little, because Allie's little, this little <laughs> tiny a, black it's dress. It's a two. It's a Her little. Her name was Soul. She was from Afghanistan. <laughs> and she just broke my heart. I loved her. Or you could just say, you know what? This fit me last week. <laughs> <laughs> you got this in pink. <laughs> Call your doctor about Ozempic. Um, and then one more thing. <laughs> you know it's coming. Of course. That was a real double. I expected that was nice. it. Yes. Yeah. Double tag. Yeah. Uh, and then one more warning for you. There are certain things on Amazon you can't return. I bought some protein powder that turned out to be truly disgusting. You can't return protein powder or a lot of health stuff. So double check. Where do you see on Amazon if you can return it? How far down do I have to go? It's not that far. It's right under, you know, so on a computer on the right side where it's got your buying options, mm -hmm. the subscribe and save, regular buy, whatever. It says it's under that. Okay. So that's easy to yeah, look at. It's yeah. not like I got to scroll for days. No, they make it. But I think that we just tune it out and assume everything on Amazon is returnable. I do. It's not. Yeah, I so do. double check because that protein powder is still in my cabinet and it tastes like dirt. Well, I was, I tried to return 
reindeer poop that I bought. Hold on now. No, it's not. Oh, with the, the cotton candy? candy? The cotton candy. Okay. Yeah. I tried to return that because I bought it for Barry's grandkids. Yeah. And then it just didn't seem like the right thing to give in front of, you know, certain people that, that would be like. That are no fun. Yes, that are no fun. Losers. Yes. Seriously? And so, you know, I couldn't return, even though it wasn't opened. <gasps> The rain, the rain. Because it was a food? Yes. Okay. I, I bet cotton candy never goes bad, so just give it out next year. That's what I did. I just put it back with the Christmas yeah. stuff. So, <laughs> yeah. you know what? We'll bring it out next year. It'll still be silly next year. <laughs> yes. All right. Coming up, we're going to be talking about TikTok and plant tips. This Ooh. is really exciting stuff. I'm here. I'm not uh, anyway. And then, what do you have? For my tech life upgrade, pictures. We take so many pictures and we don't do anything with them. Let's change that. Absolutely. So you want to stay right where you are. Oh, wait, Andrew, you have a joke at the end. I do. I was asked to bring a joke and I have thought in it. What a Mm. treat. (laughs) Nice. (laughs) Peloton's best offer of the season is here. Get up to $300 off accessories when you purchase a Peloton bike, bike plus or tread. Choose from a variety of accessories like our cycling shoes, a heart rate monitor, non-slip grip dumbbells and more. If you've been looking for a sign to join Peloton, this offer gives you everything you need to get going. This limited time offer ends November 28th. Visit OnePeloton.com to learn more. All access membership separate. Offer starts November 14th and ends November 28th. Cannot be combined with other offers. See additional terms at OnePeloton.com. All right, so this is Kim Commando today. This is not the Kim Commando show, which is our three-hour show that you can hear on over 425 top stations across the United States. But if you want to get the show, uh, wherever you get your pods, just search for Kim Commando show. Once again, that's Kim Commando show, not Kim Commando today, Kim Commando show. Now, if you'd like to get the show commercial free as a podcast, you just have to go to one spot. That's over at commando.com. Hit the button that says community. You get a 30-day free trial. And after that, it's just a couple of bucks a month. And be sure to always check the box for a discount because we give discounts for, I think, everybody. It doesn't matter. Uh, I had somebody send me a note the other day and said they're over 30. They were like 36 years old. Do I get a discount? I said, yes, just check the box, senior. (laughs) It doesn't matter. We don't check. We don't check. You know, know, if you want to say like you're, you're a teacher, we don't check. I mean, like some, I'm sure you've taught someone something. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, so whatever it is, just head over to commando.com and hit the button that says community. All right. So um, here's a headline that I thought that would this would be interesting for us to talk about. Well, first of all, are you like plant people? I don't know if that are you. I've had phases. I kill plants. I would love to be a plant person. I haven't put in the effort to do it well. I had plants all over my house, and my dogs ate them all <gasps> in one day. No. One Did day. Did they get sick? No. They just ate them all, destroyed them all. I have one left, sits on the windowsill. It's been alive for like four years. Wow. Do you ever look at those um, those like home like gardens that come with the lights and the water? Yeah. They're supposed to take care of everything. So, you know, I gave one of those to a friend of mine for Christmas. Yeah. And like beginning of December. Because I'm like, I'm not going to see for the holidays. But I thought, you know, because you're really, really like into like cooking. She cooks a lot and herbs. And I thought, like, this would be good for her. So um, she sent me a picture the other day it said look look this is this thing is amazing i'm finally able to have a green thumb and i zoomed in and she's growing marijuana oh my gosh <laughs> that's great i think i know who this friend is that's incredible i'm like so funny hmm, so much for the herbs uh the washington post uh, chatted with some plant experts about all the tiktok videos that are flying around oh from influencers yes again amazing. our influencers uh, banana peel water. Have you heard about these? No. Oh, I thought this was a user on TikTok. <laughs> it does, it does sound Don't like you know it. her? Uh, it's where you soak banana peels in water, you feed it to your house plants, and they say that it's packed with nutrition uh, and potassium and okay. magnesium. Okay. Um, does it do anything? Does it? Well, yeah, it's got to help. Nope. No. Nothing. Uh-huh. Right. It might work for the laxative thing. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> you might want to try that. Uh, taking kitchen scraps and put it in the soil. Coffee grounds, eggshells, yes. fruit, of course. veggies. This is compost. Okay. No, I, I'm going to say no. You have to make it into compost first. The plant can't break down. Uh, Allie's right. Sorry. Ew. You're just a sucker. You're just going to attract insects. Ugh. All right. Gross. Maybe okay. I should get plants again. I'm nailing this. Uh, mag- mayonnaise for shiny leaves. Uh, oh TikTok gosh. users are suggesting rubbing mayonnaise on leaves for extra shine. No. I'm just going to go with no because they've all been no. 
Same. Also gross. I think it would get really nasty. Yeah. You don't want to do that. All right. So it's like, it's like they use the example in the Washington Post of like, you know, clogging your pores with grease. Mm -hmm, Yeah. So that. mm -hmm. Uh, watering with ice cubes. Mm. Yeah, I, I do this. I, I do have this. done Why that not? too. You're just slow releasing the water. Is it bad? Yeah, it's bad. Why? Why? It just says unless it's an orchid, you shouldn't do that. Too cold? Yeah. Oh, that's the that's the problem. I only have orchids. That's <laughs> big why I, orchid yeah. guy. Put that on your dating profile. <laughs> big orchid guy. <laughs> you know, Everybody's going to be confused. I, you know, I hate when somebody gives me an orchid. Oh my gosh. I feel like yeah. such a responsibility. I know. And you can't keep them alive. It's so hard. Are they hard to take care of? Yes. Yes, they are. Yes. And then they're going to say, how's the orchid? And you have to say the orchid is dead. Or you pretend, so you, God I, forbid they come over. I actually gifted it to someone else who was just in need of an orchid. He was a big orchid guy. And <laughs> he had lots of ice. So he I just, just broke up with his girl. See, like, this is a great orchid. See this one? That's fake. Gorgeous. I, I mean. I love that. It's fabulous. It's aren't fabulous. they supposed to live forever though? Orchids, if you take care of them, That's don't the they? the trick. Li- I don't know. They make oh. it seem like it's easy, so but it's not. Supposed to. It's yes. like those bonsais. You ever tried the bonsais? No. 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 Do they die too? I don't have, all my scissors are too big. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Rarely do I make myself laugh, but that was funny. <laughs> that was good. That was pretty oh, good. You know, you know, I can see somebody right now who's watching us, who's listening to us, and they're saying, you know what? My sister's single. Yeah. My cousin is single. Does yeah. she live in the valley? Or <laughs> Arizona? <laughs> or Yeah, let's start with Arizona. Hemisphere. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Wherever it may be. I mean, you live in the really East Valley? Good. Yes, I live in the East Valley. Okay. In Chandler. But I'll drive. I have a car. Oh sure. It's You're not going to go to like North Peoria. I'm not going past 44th Street, <laughs> but I'll drive. <laughs> Maybe she can meet you in the middle. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Yeah, that is funny. Not going past, like, you know, that, so I was talking to somebody who was like, so have you, when's the last, last time you went to the West Side? I'm like, I have no idea. <laughs> I fly over it all the time. <laughs> about once a week, I go right over that sucker. That was a funny thing about living in New York because people using dating apps, you have to set the mile radius so low because right. You're not gonna get five car, miles right? away is so far in That's New York. That's true. Yeah. So it's like, you know, two, three miles. There's just so many cars on the West Valley. The traffic is, I mean, I don't care what time of day it is. It's so much traffic over there. That's the only reason I don't go over there. Oh, and there's nothing to do. There's nothing to do. Uh, but no. that's why I don't go to the West Valley. This is so local. It makes I know, we're sorry. Local no segment. one. <laughs> it's okay. I'd like to go back to your. So are you going to go try a new dating app? Uh, I mean, I'm just, I just went and got Hinge again. That was it? Yeah. And then what did I get? I got Bumble. I don't I mean. What about Hinge? Why is it your favorite? Because there's real people on there. Okay. It's not just like plenty of fish. I brought up before. The yeah. issue with that is it's all porn advertising. That's all it is. Oh, gross. Every account is just some fake plenty thing. Plenty of fish is supposed to be like this Christian thing. It is not. <laughs> no. <laughs> Have you no. tried farmers only? Uh, no, because I'm not looking for a farmer. Interesting. But okay. if I want to, I will go there. Oh, Christian I bet all mingle. the- Yeah. yeah. Do you remember Jaded. Father Andrew? Yeah, of course. Okay. Um He's a fan of the show, friend of the show, forever and ever. And his brother, uh, they they have a big, big ranch in Wyoming. And his brother actually went on to like a Catholic cowboy dating site. Whoa. Okay. That's Super. really narrowing yes, it down. Narrow it down, right? And found this lovely woman. <gasps> and she's very Catholic, loves to live on a ranch. And I think they're on like their 12th child already. Oh, oh my goodness. Great. Yeah. So, I mean, so maybe you ought to think about like narrow focus. Mm. Think about- J-date. That's what I'll go on. Perfect. J-date. Yeah. Do you know what J-date is? That's Jewish date. Yeah. <laughs> are, you, are you not Jewish? I'm not Jewish. <laughs> okay. So I'm like- <laughs> You said narrow it down. You didn't say I had to be accurate with my narrowing. <laughs> You should try this site. It's for Catholic ranchers. <laughs> yes. Oh, really? I heard, I heard it. There's no success stories from it ever. Okay. <laughs> Number one, I'm not Catholic. Number two, I'm not a cowboy. I met two. I, I dated a woman for a year, another woman for a year and a half. Both met them both on Finge. It's just real people on Finge, in my opinion. Yeah. Why don't you like try like a meetup? What's a, what's a meetup? Like where, you know, like they, where you can just go meet like. 10 people at speed once. Dating. Speed dating. Kim's talking I about could, speed dating. I would, I'd be willing to try that. You'd be good at speed dating. You, you think so? Be. Yeah. Yeah. Because I can talk fast? Why? Why would I be good at Because I can make an impression real quick? Yes. Yeah. Good yeah. communicator. Yeah, you've got good presence. Well, I'm not saying it's a good impression. Just It's an impression. It's an impression. Why are you trying to always break us down? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> 
<laughs> You're, both of you just called me badass. Okay. With All a, right. That's fair. I'm just uh, saying. I'll back off. And not for nothing, but my name's on the building out there. Okay. And I'm okay with it. And it's about to have fat ass spray painted underneath it. <laughs> oh my God. You know what? You're going to give somebody who's listening an idea. They're going to go over and spray paint that on the building. And then I'm going to have to pay like $10,000 oh, to get it We have cameras out front. So if you do that, yeah. we'll catch you. Don't do it. And we'll find you. And we'll give you a fan. We will pack. find you. <laughs> I'll autograph it. Oh, I broke my microphone. <laughs> Can't take them anywhere. Mm. All right. So stay right where you are because Allie has a great life upgrade with um, our photos. We're going to be doing stuff with that. And then Andrew has a mediocre joke, I'm sure, that you don't want to miss. <laughs> if you only have a 401k, you're not getting the most for retirement. Wait, what? Add a Robinhood IRA on top, then they'll boost it by 3%. You can do that? And if you transfer in any retirement account, you get 3% on top of that. Is there a limit to the match? No limit. Robinhood Gold gets you the biggest contribution match of any IRA on the market. Sign up for Robinhood Gold at Robinhood.com slash boost by April 30th. Subscription fees apply. Investing involves risk. 3% match requires gold for one year from first match. Must keep IRA for five years. Match on transfers subject to additional terms and conditions. Robinhood Financial LLC, member SIPC. All right, Kim Commando today, just a quick reminder, we are ramping up on YouTube. So if you have not already subscribed to our YouTube channel, head over to youtube.com slash Kim Commando. If you don't get our newsletters, come on, you need to get those. Head over to getkim.com. Once again, that's getkim.com. All right, Allie, we're going long today, so you're going to have to speed it up on what we're talking about with photos. I will be quick. When's the last time you two printed photos? Printed? Yeah. Print 19 something. Okay. Kim, do you print uh, photos? I get them printed yeah, sometimes. Yeah, yeah. Not, you them, don't have to do it on a printer, but you get them printed and yeah, sent to your house. Yeah, like about a year and a half. Okay, nice. I have been thinking about lately, we take so many pictures. We never do anything with them. What a waste. Uh, when I scroll through and look at things, I like them. I'm happy about it. So why not put them in your house? In a couple places, you can get stuff. I've ordered from a lot of the online print places. I'm not going to say the names because for the most part, the quality is bad. Okay. You get them, they're like... The photo quality is bad. The paper's bad. The colors are not very good. And they just don't do anything to make the photos look better, right? Because you're paying, I don't know, 30 cents a picture. So yeah, it's just whatever comes out of Get your phone. Get what you pay for. Exactly. So a couple options. I'm going to put these on the website too with links and the stuff I like because these make great gifts or if you just want something nice for yourself. One place, we've talked about this before, Artifact Uprising. They make beautiful photo gifts, really nice prints. And yeah, it's more expensive, but it's not crazy. You can get 10 four by six photos for 14 bucks. Now, you told me about this. I did. Okay. And because I was sitting there like, I don't know what to get Anne for Christmas. This is like two years ago. And Allie's like, you got to go to Artifact Upright. I'm like, what? Okay. <laughs> so, oh my gosh. So, so pretty. It's so pretty. So it's like, so it comes with this nice wood block. Mm -hmm. And then I got him, I, I don't know, I think I printed like 40 pictures and I gave it to him and I thought like, you would be like, oh, mom, I mean, you put printed pictures of me when I was like eight right. and 16. And yeah. no, he's got him right there on his credenza in his living room. And people come by and they open, and they go through them. Yeah, Dude, it's, it's really a nice lovely. thing for people to look through. The, it, their stuff is really, it's like minimalist and pretty. Yes, very nice. A lot of photo gifts, I think, converge on this is for your grandma's grandma kind of style. No, this stuff is pretty and, and really nice quality. Another good one, Nation's Photo Lab. They are not paying me to say this. They just print really great photos. But they can if they want to. They, we, we would love Nations, for them to do that. we'd love to have you. Yes. Yeah, a, a 16 by 20, that's big. That's a big picture. Range from 35 to 75 cents. So these are not super expensive, but they are nicer quality than the cheaper options out there that don't do much. They make the photos look better. They send them in cardboard so they don't get folded. Um, and they have nice gifts too. They do those metal prints, which are really cool. I like those metal prints. They're nice. Yeah, if you take you know, landscape pictures, a really nice sunset, something in your yard or, you know, out on a hike, whatever. Those look really nice printed out. So there you go. We'll put these on the site. Nations and Artifact Uprising. I like Empix. Yeah, I've used that one too. Yeah. Yeah. And they're they're super expensive. Yeah. But, but you get what you pay for. But I will tell you that with Empix mm. is that what you do is you load up your cart and then yeah. you go to pay and then you just go, ooh, I don't think I want to buy this right now. And then you will get a discount in Fetch your email. Back. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. Love that. Yeah. Wait for the email. Okay. All right. So, uh, Andrew, you have a joke? Yes. You ready? Yes. There was uh, this silence retreat that a man is attending for one full year. You are not allowed to speak. You're in a small shack in the middle of nowhere 
and you are to be silent. So he's there for about three months and he, and the winter season comes and he's freezing. And so he hikes all the way down the hill to where the retreat is based. And he finds the leader of the retreat. And he's like, excuse me, but I am so cold. And the leader reaches out his hand and puts it over his mouth and not allows him to speak. Hands him two blankets, pats him on the back and sends him on his way. So now we're six months in to the silence retreat and it's just raining every single night like cats and dogs. And he's got a hole in his roof and the water is just leaking through. So again, he goes and he hikes down the hill and he goes to the front of the retreat and he finds the leader and he says, excuse me, but it is raining. The leader puts his hand over his <laughs> mouth, hands him some tools and some wood, pats him on his back <laughs> and sends him on his way. He fixes the hole. Now we're 10 months in to this one year of silence retreat. He's going crazy. He's alone. He's bored. He's done thinking. He wants to talk. And so this time he runs down the hill and he goes and he finds the leader of the retreat and he says, that's it. I can't take it. I need to leave. And the leader turns around and goes, I know you haven't shut the hell up since you got here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tough crowd today. Seriously, I don't think she got it. I thought it was good. <laughs> All right, go ahead. One last time before we leave. I want to hear it. Come on. What do you Aww. do? Bye, fat ass. Bye, fat ass. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. All right, do us a solid. Give us a great review. We'll see you again here next week. This program is a copyrighted production of Westar Multimedia Entertainment and protected by the copyright laws. Any rebroadcast or use of this program for commercial, business, economic, or financial purposes without the written permission of Westar Multimedia Entertainment is strictly prohibited. If you own a vehicle with less than 200,000 miles and have an auto warranty about to expire or no warranty coverage at all, listen up. CarShield has a low-cost, month-to-month vehicle protection plan that covers more parts than ever. Visit carshield.com slash audio to find out how you could pay almost nothing for covered auto repairs. Drivers who activate this vehicle protection today will also receive free roadside assistance, free towing, and car rental options at no additional cost. Get your free quote today at carshield.com slash audio. That's carshield.com slash audio.